Oh my god, we gotta go. The camera is literally not even doing this guy justice right now. See you soon. Going to the Trevi Fountain. I also have a new lens and it's very close up. I'm not sure how I feel, but I feel like the quality will be very nice. We're staying at the B&B Tuscalon <laughs> and it feels so good out right now. I feel like it's probably 70s. So our first adventure in Rome was Trevi Fountain. I had to get a photo. I had to see it in real life. I had to live out my Lizzie McGuire movie scene. There was no Apollo, but it is what it is. It was definitely crowded and the front of the Trevi Fountain was actually gated off so you couldn't get that close. But then we bopped around, kind of saw the areas near it and it was so breathtaking. So we finished the Trevi Fountain that took about like 10 minutes we got a picture and then left because it was so crowded we had to fight our way through the crowd to get a photo i want gelato but also every place we've seen is like what people on tiktok say is the fake gelatos we don't know we have dinner at six or we're meeting everyone at six and then going to dinner so after walking around a little bit i was on the hunt for some gelato i needed some authentic authentic gelato so I was trying to avoid the places right next to the Trevi fountain that had the mounds because TikTok told me to. You're digging in your bag. I can't find my money. So we stopped at this little place that we passed called Mancuso. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. It was 450 euros for a cone, which is really good. I got lemon flavor and honestly it wasn't the best that I've had. It was pretty average. A And then we had our welcome dinner where we kind of got to meet everyone, at least everyone that was at our table. Nerves were still kind of high. Um, we had lasagna and then potatoes, tiramisu, and then panna cotta. I'm not a big tiramisu gal, so that was a no for me. The panna cotta was pretty interesting. It's like a cream gelatin, te weird texture with like chocolate. It wasn't bad though. Good morning, it is day two. I feel like this is still technically day one though. Last night, um, I didn't film much, but we were just kind of getting to know everyone. We got dinner, had lasagna, potatoes, and then tiramisu. I'm not a big tiramisu fan, I'm really not, but it was fun. We went to sleep like literally right after and some people went out, but I was just too tired. Um, today we're going to the Coliseum and then later tonight we'll have a Italian cooking class. I'm assuming pasta, a midi skirt, and then I'm pairing it with my Air Force Ones that I brought. Nothing crazy. Yeah, round day two. Next, tomorrow we leave really early for Pompeii. So far, really nice. Um, once we've met a bunch of people, it's a little, we feel a little bit better. We've chatted with some people. I think it just takes a while to get to know everyone in the group and then feel, you know, comfortable. Dang, this camera hurts my arms. Hopefully the quality's good. 
4K for you guys. I know people comment on that all the time. Also, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder instead of the lens. <laughs> Whoops, I just, I think I don't like the lens. Um, I'll probably invest in a 28, just because I feel like this is, this is 35, it's really close, and so it's just not ideal for vlogging. Um, but... <laughs> We got free breakfast at the hotel. It was a lot of pastries. I was very lucky to find eggs. They went very quick. It was your basic hotel breakfast. I ended up bringing my camera anyways. This is my sister. She's on the trip, solo traveling. How's it going? It's going great. Beautiful day out here in Rome. Thanks for having me. I'm still talking. We met up with a tour guide who showed us around the Colosseum. Was very in depth in the history of it, which was so cool. We had these little headsets, so even if we weren't right next to her, we could still hear everything. It was quite crowded, but that's to be expected in such a high tourist area. So the Colosseum was actually built in 72 AD, and it was built during the reign of Flavian emperors as a gift to the Roman people. It took between 7 to 8 years to build. So when they would hold the events, the average number of spectators was 55,000 thousand people which is insane and attendance was actually free back in the day so no one had to pay to get in so what you're looking at is actually the lower level the floor was actually removed in the 19th century below the floor is actually where they kept the animals for the battles it's so surreal to see places in real life that you've seen in pictures all the time and that have been here for centuries and just imagining the people back then and how they went about their day. If you're ever in Rome, it's definitely a must see. I know it's super touristy, but when in Rome, if you like history, like the architecture of old buildings, I would definitely recommend checking it out. And I would 100% go with a tour guide rather than just by yourself because I like having things explained rather than just kind of wandering around looking at things and not really knowing any of the history behind it. So after the tour, we kind of broke off and went to different places to find food because we were so hungry. So we stopped at this restaurant called Shiva and we got pizza, some appetizers, some drinks. I will say this was probably the worst pizza I had the whole trip. It was, yeah, just not very good. It was kind of like cardboard. <laughs> also, a little tip if you are traveling to Europe and don't know what to expect with restaurants, there's usually a service charge for just sitting at the restaurant and eating there. And then you get charged for the bottle of water and then tip but it's still 
pretty affordable. Like I don't think anything was crazy expensive, even including all of those charges. Oh, yeah. you, you can do it yourself? No. <laughs> There's gonna be like a really close up shot though because of the lens. <laughs> Really close up about to be seven we have to head down to take the bus to the center city center because we're taking a pasta cooking lesson <laughs> a pasta <laughs> oh, bro i'm so tired sorry pasta cooking lesson and then come back sleep and tomorrow is going to be a long day we're going to pompeii we have a tour there and then we have to Take a ferry to Amalfi Coast and then Positano and then Sorrento. Quite busy. Wearing this outfit I did change. This is from Hollister. And then this skirt. Let me show you on this. So this is the outfit. So this is a skirt. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. And then this is a Hollister Bustier halter top. Kind of swimsuit material, honestly. And then it's got these bones in it. It fit for the pasta cooking class. I'm probably gonna get a hair clip and put it back. That way it's out of my face. I'm wearing shoes. Um, yeah, that's the fit. That's the plan. I'm not going to take my camera, but I'll probably still film a little bit on my phone. See you later. Ikea. It's good for the big show, you have to get a little mess. <laughs> like scramble egg consistency, obviously, you combine it all with the more hash. Okay. Not too much, like something like this, and you go through number six. So, the main job of the machine is to make it nice and even. Okay, that's it. Then, fold it over in thirds, like something like this. And again, I got the second time rolling pin. Why I'm doing this, guys? To give strength to the dog, just for that. So I got the second time, number six. Just to make sure we have a good strength of the dog. No more folding, and no more six. So, so six is twice, huh? I switch to number five. As I told you before, no more folding, we just go through five. So start to be thinner and longer. Then I go four. Spaghetti, they stick one to each other. Yeah. I switch the handle to the side, spaghetti side over here. Don't do it to China. <laughs> okay, spaghetti. Don't worry, guys, uh, about numbers. The cutter just cut. In this case, guys, uh, let me see. I always uh, take these sides to have like a spaghetti box size. In this case, guys, actually I keep it, but if it's a little longer than this, you do the surgery in the middle. I don't want to cut it now, otherwise you have to short spaghetti. Hmm? So I go through spaghetti cutter. I need a sous chef now. Come here. You are the lucky one. Okay, you can work even in team, and we go through the cutter. Okay. Can you hear the sound of the 50s? <laughs> you see, guys? No more barilla, right? <laughs> no more boxes, spaghetti. 
I feel like these are our breakfasts, so we should eat it because we're not allowed to eat on the bus. Oh no, the Good morning. We are in Pompeii. Let's tour, but we stop for coffee, bathroom break, and then pastries. It's kind of like a lemon thingy. I'm not a fan of lemon, but I'm gonna eat around it. Um, their iced coffee is like kind of like blended. Like, would you say it's like a frappe? The texture. Mm, I don't know how to describe the texture. It's like thick coffee. So our next tour was in Pompeii and that's actually Mount Vesuvius right there. So we got to see the ruins. She explained kind of what life was like back in the day. You were able to see the ruins of the streets and houses and she kind of explained while walking past some rooms as to what they were. Like there was one that was what she called a McDonald's back in the day and it was basically like their version of a quick restaurant where you could eat. There's also a museum inside where you can see artifacts that they found around the city. So I believe it actually erupted in 79 AD and surprisingly it erupted again in March 17th, 1944. After the tour at Pompeii, we then hit it on a bus to Amalfi Coast, which was about a two hour drive, I believe. And today was, yeah, definitely cram packed. Uh, I wish we would have gotten more time in the Amalfi Coast because I feel like you're there for like two hours and then boom, you're moving on. So I feel like Amalfi Coast shouldn't really have been in the title of this EF trip because we weren't there long enough to really enjoy it and see everything, which is a bit of a bummer. But the drive there was absolutely beautiful. A little scary because the roads were very windy and I was scared we were going to fall off the cliff, especially in this big old bus. I will say Amalfi Coast was so beautiful, just as pretty as the pictures. It was very, very crowded. Amalfi Coast was probably the most crowded of all of the places that we saw this day. But again, I'd still easily love to spend like five days here and just sightsee everywhere because I feel like you need a few days to really see everything. So then we were looking for a place to eat because we were all so hungry. We saw a sign for lemon sorbet and a lemon, so we had to get, even though it was before we ate our lunch, it was the best lemon sorbet I've ever had. And it was so cute. Like it came in like a massive lemon that was actually frozen. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend this place. It also is where we ended up eating lunch. The restaurant is called Porto Salvo and the owners were so incredibly friendly and just cracking jokes the whole time. Also, they have a bathroom if you need to use a bathroom that's free and it's right in the center of Amalfi Coast, so easy to get to, especially if you're just getting off a bus or okay, the ferry. Okay, when you're ready, my name is Chi. Call me, call me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I like it. I got the margarita pizza and this was so good. So much better than the one from Rome. 10 out of 10 recommend trying. Also, you can definitely share because they're quite big and I feel like I wasn't able to eat the whole thing. 
Also a cool little fact about Italy, if you're traveling there, they have these free water spouts everywhere that have clean drinkable water if you don't want to buy a water bottle. We just finished eating. Um, we're gonna stop. Oh, that's a cute shop. I really want to get something that says Amalfikos on it or a necklace or something just so I have it and can take it home. Ooh, I'm loving the lemon. We ended up snagging some souvenirs for friends and family and then I got me this cute little tote bag that said Amalfi Coast with lemons all over it. I'm literally obsessed with it, it's so cute. And it was only 15 euros, which is insane because a bag like that at home would have probably been 50 or more. And then we hopped on a ferry to head over to Positano. Again, we were only in Amalfi Coast for about two hours, which is a bit of a bummer but the ferry was so nice. It was like a 30 minute ferry ride and we got to sit on top and see the view. To Sorrento. So Sorrento is actually where we ended up staying for two nights and that was again another 30 minute ferry ride from Positano. This was definitely a more laid back, less touristy area. I absolutely loved the vibes here. I 10 out of 10 recommend this spot and I also believe it's a little bit cheaper than the other areas. However, EF did put us in a hotel that is very far away from anything and they don't have like ubers here so that was definitely the con of this location it felt cool to me yeah i mean obviously not freezing fire something great guys we just got to the hotel room i had a panic attack because i thought my luggage was lost but it's here we're okay 653 um, this is the fit I wore. I changed after Positano. Bro, our view is gorgeous. That's beautiful. Holy cow. No, we haven't been here long. Just like driving, being in here, I like the vibe so much better in Sorrento. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Amalfi Coast Positano, but it was very, very crowded. This is like less crowded. It feels a little bit more laid back. Guys, it's so pretty here. This is probably my favorite spot we've been. Okay, so good. I just put my hair up lightly. Touched up my oily face. This is what we are working with. It's just this satin 
maxi dress that's strapless. I saw it and I thought it was really cute, reminded me of a multi coast vibe. So I bought Tate and that's what we're wearing tonight. I have a few other outfits that I want to save for when I don't look like hot garbage. It's so pretty. We're going to dinner at 8.30, I just want to show you guys the view because I literally cannot get over it. Me and my sister have been dreaming to go here for years and the fact that I'm here, I'm literally so incredibly grateful right now and I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Like, the camera is literally not even doing this guy justice right now. That would have moved here. So we got dinner at this place. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name La Tierra Zona. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. But the ravioli was so good. And then I got a little sweet treat because I have a really bad sweet tooth. Just some donuts. Good morning. I don't even know what day anymore. But we're headed to the Capri Cruising excursion. Um, so I'm just wearing a bathing suit underneath of my outfit which is altered state top with Hollister curved shorts that's the plan for today this new bag in the Malfi Coast I thought it was so cute so this is what I'm going to take with me we've got charger sunglasses towel wallet water sunscreen So from Sorrento, in order to get to Capri, you have to go on a ferry, which I believe was like a 30 minute ferry ride. All the ferries were pretty quick. Capri was by far the most beautiful spot we had visited. Everywhere you looked was just incredibly beautiful. The water was so blue. The boats were just like so picturesque and the buildings. And I feel like it was it was crowded, but not as bad as like Amalfi or Positano. And I'm pretty sure, again, this is the more expensive spot. So staying here is probably not super affordable. Hopefully you guys can even hear me. So during the Capri cruising excursion, we kind of got a ferry all to ourselves and then Angela, our tour guide, gave us a tour around the island. I'll be honest, I kind of zoned out during the tour. We couldn't hear her that well and so I was just kind of admiring the view, but I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what she said about the rocks and everything. After the tour, we all took the little train all the way up to the top of Capri and went to go see the gardens and shop around a bit. I know. Oh, hey guys. Joe. This Joe is Prod Joe. Joe Prodigy. Um, this is Bailey Stewart. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> they already know that. <laughs> 
Bailey Sue was kind enough to allow me to promote myself on her channel. Very per awesome person. I'll put it in text. What's your what's your at? Joe Prodigy. Is that your YouTube as well? Yes. Okay, Joe Prodigy, Instagram N W O B I I. Uh, fresh off on YouTube, sorry, right now. Right now. I have a 1,000 subscribers right now. I'm trying to get that up. Um, Everybody go watch. Other than that, shit, just enjoy the vlog. I know it's gonna be a fucking thing. <laughs> When you go to the top, you can definitely tell this is a more luxury area because they had some very expensive name brand shops up here. Uh, definitely less crowded. <laughs> it was quite bougie. <laughs> Anytime I see lemon sorbet, I had to stop. So on our way to lunch, I was eating some lemon sorbet and it was 10 out of 10. We went to a Ristorante Langano. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I got another margarita pizza because it's just my go-to and it was so good. This was the best pizza we had the whole trip. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, we just finished shopping. We got lunch. I got a margarita pizza. I bought a cute little apron. Um, we're headed back to the meeting spot to get on the ferry? Yeah, get on the ferry to go back to Sorrento. And we want to go to a really cute rooftop dinner, but I don't know, we shall see. But that's the update. We just got back. EF booked us not only in Rome, but in Amalfi Coast in like the middle of nowhere. So we can't really walk to places. So we're just gonna go to a little restaurant that's right across. So I'm dressing casual. I was gonna wear a really nice dress. I'm just gonna save that for Greece. It's fine. I'm not really liking the fit, but you know, that's all I got. I only have a few outfits left. So um, it's just this little top, white pants, and then sandals, really basic. I'm gonna bring my camera. I really wanna get some seafood. I have yet to have seafood, so hopefully I can find some. I will keep you updated. dinner spots. But look at the sky. So pretty. Oh. <laughs> so we went to this restaurant called, I believe it was Savos. Um, they, I don't think they liked us because they told us they were full even though they weren't and then they managed to squeeze us in thankfully but we're like you have to be out of here in like 30 minutes because they have a reservation and then apparently they didn't have a reservation because other people from our group had no problem getting in. So I don't know, I don't think they liked us, but I ended up getting fries and the Caesar salad and it was not good. It was probably my least favorite meal of the whole trip. 
Um, yeah, I don't recommend. <laughs> the next day, we had to be up super early for our flight to Athens, and this was literally the worst day of the trip. I did indeed have a panic attack. Our bus kept breaking down, so we ended up on the side of the road waiting for a new bus to come, which took hours. So we were late to the airport, but thankfully, we still managed to catch our flight. Once we got to the hotel in Athens, I just needed to be alone, cry it out decompress i was so stressed so the travel day just was not a good one for me but the next day in athens we had our little tour we got breakfast this was probably the best breakfast that we had the whole trip there was pancakes eggs hash browns syrup cereal like so much more than the other places so this was probably the best hotel that we stayed at by far and it was in the middle of everywhere walking distance which was really nice all right good morning guys we are officially in athens Yesterday was very hectic. I, yeah, am just very, very tired, very out of it. My social battery is very drained and airports give me the worst anxiety. So I was like, yeah, just not, not feeling the best that day. Um, but today's a new day. We're gonna be touring Athens. And then tonight we have the Greek night, which is where all of us get like food. It's like a buffet. There's dancing, music stuff like that and then tomorrow we leave for the ferry um 5 30 a.m for naxos so <laughs> we'll have to repack tonight after or probably before to be honest and then yeah that's the plan but we have to meet the group at 8 16 no what time 8 15 oh yeah. we're late oh yeah. my god we gotta go not good so we started the tour off by watching the changing of the guards and it was quite gloomy out it was only slightly drizzling at this point so i was fine i got an umbrella i had my rain jacket on so we were walking up to the acropolis our tour director victor is actually from athens and he says that it like never rains here so of course the time we're here it decides to downpour the whole trip So once we get in to the Acropolis, this is when things kind of take a turn. And I brought my cannon with me, which was a huge mistake. I didn't realize it was going to downpour. But it heavy downpoured literally as soon as we got to the top. So we had to leave because they ended up closing it. And it was honestly quite scary because you're walking down these slick marble steps and it is gushing water. And uh, that's how I broke my camera. But of course, once we made it down to the bottom, it stopped raining. So Victor took us to get some gelato and this place was called Da Vinci and it was the best gelato I ever had. TikTok tells you to avoid the mounds, but honestly, the mounds might be where it's at because I got the cookies and cream and it's kind of like our cookie dough. And I'm gonna daydream about this gelato for the rest of my life. If you're ever in Athens, I 10 out of 10 recommend going to this place. After we ate the delicious gelato, we then went to a cute little souvenir shop. I've been getting little espresso cups everywhere I go and like magnets and stuff so I can have something fun and cute to remember this trip by. So one of the extra excursions Victor planned for us was a little food tour around Athens and we got to try bagels, gyros, donuts, appetizers, and then even coffee. And it was all so delicious. It was fun trying new foods and the guy showing us around bringing us the food was hilarious. It's just nice getting to know new people, eat new things, and just bond with everyone on the group. So I'm so happy we decided to do all the excursions. Okay, so I'm currently having issues with my camera. It was downpouring when we were going around Athens and my I did take my camera and so now the screen is messed up so I took the lens out the battery out and I'm hoping that it'll fix itself because we still have a few days left in Naxos Three steps. Everybody. Everybody. One, two, three. Okay. Three steps. 
The Greek night excursion was literally so much fun. They randomly selected after the competition a few people to put on Greek clothing. I absolutely love being able to travel, see the world, see different cultures, learn about the different cultures. It's truly such a blessing, honestly, to be able to do these things, learn new dances. As you can see, I'm not very good at it, but it was so much fun. If you're on this trip and you have Victor and he plans the Greek night excursion, I 10 out of 10 recommend joining because you bond with everyone. It's so much fun and you can't go wrong with laughs, dancing, and good music. The next day we had to be up at 5.30 a.m. to catch the ferry to Naxos. The only thing that gave me going was this cappuccino latte and then this sugary donut. This ferry was honestly bougie. It was almost like a little mini cruise. The seats were nice and then we got some lunch. I just got some chicken nuggets and french fries and then watched where the crawdads sing because it was a five hour ferry ride so I had to keep myself occupied. And then we got to Naxos. <laughs> guys so we just made it to naxos the ferry was about like a five hour ride this is the fit we're gonna take pics go get some ice cream it is quite hot also update on my camera it's still not working i don't know what's going on with the screen i've taken out the lens i've taken everything like out of it but I think I have to send it in when I get home, so unfortunately the quality of the vlog at this point is going to be not as high, like it's not going to be as good. I'm still going to try and vlog because tomorrow we have the boat day, 
And then after that, the next day we head back to Athens. So I'm still gonna vlog on my phone, but just know it's gonna be phone quality, whereas the other one was much more high def. Um, very frustrating, but it is what it is. Yeah, I regret taking my camera around Athens. Um, but this is the hotel. We got a double bed. It does have AC, thank goodness. It was, it's very hot out. We have a little balcony, very cute. Um, but that's the plan for right now. Victor recommended this place called Waffle House. And I've been daydreaming of the gelato we got yesterday. It was cookies and cream. I really want it again today. Um, do not listen to TikTok when they say avoid the mounds. The mounds of ice cream is actually really good. It might be a little bit more processed. They're not authentic, I don't know. But um, I thought it was delicious. It was the best one I've had this whole trip. And that was in Athens. It was Da Vinci, I believe. But, yeah. The ferry was actually pretty nice. It was very fancy, very big. Okay, so we're headed to the beach now. I'm just wearing this cute little cover up. It's from Lucy in the Sky. It's like this crochet multicolor. And a one piece from Princess Polly. Sure. Okay, so we're taking photos at this cute little brunch place. It had like pink flowers all over it. It's called Callisto Brunch Cafe. And my sister were like thought, like, cause I guess they were the owners. They were like staring and then my sister thought we were gonna get in trouble for taking pictures. But it turns out they wanted to take pictures of me. I guess they were super nice. Um, so if you're ever in Naxos, go check it out. So we're about to head to dinner. This is the fit. I would wear heels, but we have to walk, so I'm just not gonna do that. Um, dress is from Fortunate One. I wish it like hugged my waist a little bit more because it's kind of baggy right here, so I feel like it makes me look square rather than snatching in my waist. But it is what it is. It's honestly kind of cold. We couldn't even swim at the beach today. It was really hot when we got here, and then of course when we go to the beach, it gets cold. So the hotel was around like 13 minutes from the beach walking, which wasn't bad. So a good location. Naxos definitely isn't as picturesque, I would say, as like Santorini or Mykonos. It's still absolutely beautiful, but you're not going to see the flowers and the blue windows everywhere like you would the other islands. We ate at Mezzi with everyone, which was so good. I got the shrimp spaghetti and it was delicious. They normally leave the hit on the shrimp, but I had to ask to get it removed. It's just an FYI, but it was really good. I would definitely recommend. Okay, so this is the fit. It's this crochet dress um, cover up from Amazon. It's kind of a dupe of the one I saw from Lucy in the Sky. And so, so it's much cheaper. And honestly, the quality is pretty dang nice. For being Amazon, I mean, it's a cute cover-up. It's so cute. I'll link it down below. Bathing suit is Kasani swimwear. And then I just paired it with this Princess Polly head scarf. So the next day, we ate breakfast. This is probably my least favorite breakfast, to be honest. It was very hard to find something that I personally liked. Um, and then we got on the boat for our boat excursion. We went to three different spots, and one of them we were able to jump off the boat and swim. <laughs> And then we went to, I believe it's called a Kufanesia. I could definitely be pronouncing that wrong, but it was so beautiful. The water was so clear. And on this first spot, there was actually like a naked man just standing on the island. It was good thing my vision is bad from afar because I really couldn't see the detail and I did not want to, so. But once we got to the second spot, we were actually able to get off the boat and kind of explore, go to the beach. So we chilled at the beach for a little bit and then got some gelato because I had to use the bathroom and you have to pay to use the bathroom or either buy something. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some ice cream and use the restroom. Two birds, one stone. 
Oh, okay, it's so cold. After we went to dinner at Fotis with Tiffany and my sister and we got some appetizers, pita, hummus, beans. I have a new obsession with tzatziki sauce. It was so, so good and it's high protein so I will definitely be making this when I get back. The area was really crowded but luckily we were able to get a seat immediately. The two owners were so friendly. The next morning, it was another travel day, another five-hour ferry to Athens. I feel like there's been so many ferries, buses, planes. It's a lot. I'm definitely tired. So once we landed, we all went to McDonald's in Athens because we just, we needed some french fries. I wanted to look at Avers and they had Twix, Snickers, but I will say they weren't really like Snickers or Twix bits in the ice cream it was kind of like just like chocolate and nuts i just wanted something light because in a few hours we then had our farewell dinner we're going to the farewell dinner we just got into our hotel at athens we stopped by mcdonald's um this is what i'm wearing it's a it's this little two-piece set my heels we're going to savas for our farewell dinner um yeah our last night i'm not really sure if it's gonna be like they pick the meals and we just eat whatever they give us or if we get to pick i don't know um but that's the plan tomorrow we wait, wake up at 2 30 a.m to be on our flight so i probably will not film in the morning because that's just airports give me anxiety so this is the end of the vlog i'll still show dinner but i just want to pop on here and say thank you for watching sorry about my camera and having to film my phone for basically all of Greece. What a bummer. But it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>